Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel Kings Down Roots. My name is Matt Rideout, R-I-D-O-U-T, and today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Nike Space Hippie 4. Okay, so we have a new unboxing to look at today. We have the Nike Space Hippie 4, which is in this kind of strange looking box, which is interesting. This is the only box it's delivered in. There's no outer delivery box. This is the actual shoe box. You have the sizing information on the side, and when you unbox it, I think you actually just get the shoe box and the shoes inside. Anyway, I won't waste any more time. I'll just get my trusty knife and get unboxing. So on the box you have this really cool sort of space alien themed font which says Space Hippie. So this is the Nike Space Hippie 4 in all its glory. So the kind of first impressions are that this is a really unusual and strange looking sneaker. More so because the outer sole and midsole is just such an unusual texture I've, like I've never felt anything like it. It feels kind of weird, and strangely satisfying. So to talk about the kind of background of the sneaker, it's just really interesting. First of all, Nike is really trying to drive home their sustainability angle for the business. They're trying to help save the environment, which I just think is a really admirable thing for them to be focusing on. Maybe it's about time they did start focusing on it a little bit more. Yeah, this is essentially made up of recycled materials. All the way through the shoe has a different kind of recycled element about it. Even the midsole, the upper, they're all made from either recycled bottles or uh, old t-shirts that they weren't able to sell or even yarn. So the Space Hippie 4 did release in two different colorways. It came in a dark gray and green and it came in the light gray and this kind of pinky orange color. For me personally, this is the colorway to go for. It just looks a bit nicer. It's more of a summery vibe. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk you through the sneaker, what I see, and we'll take it from there. So starting on the outer sole underneath, you have this very sort of deconstructed feel to the shoe. It's like really chunky, there's these big blocks, and there's this foam which has little tiny specks of different colors all the way throughout it and that is recycled materials. Now, there are two different types of materials used on the outer sole. You have the light gray, which is this sort of recycled stroke, um, environmentally friendly foam. And then you have this hard kind of foam material, which features at the very top of the toes and on the heel. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why they've done that. Maybe it's for styling reasons or maybe it's for grip. You also have the Nike swoosh featured right on the heel too, on the harder material grip, which is a nice little detail. So moving to the upper, the majority of this is again made from recycled materials, from old t-shirts, from old yarn. And it's, it's great, like it looks really nice. It feels really soft and the design looks good. The Nike swoosh is again, sort of has this kind of light orange stroke pink stitching, which goes all the way around the ankle to the outside, which looks nice. And then you have a small Nike swoosh on the inside of the shoe. What's really interesting about the upper is that it actually is made from one piece of material, which actually wraps around. So you can see where the laces come together on one side there's actually a gap where it folds under, which is just really cool and unusual. The lacing system looks really interesting as well. You have it intertwined with the actual stitching of the upper. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking about the sneaker and I'm gonna start putting it on my feet and giving you guys a couple of different looks and styles. I would love to hear what you think, so please drop me a comment and a like down below.
okay, so hopefully you enjoyed those different looks and styles. I really enjoyed putting it on and styling it. I always get excited when you've got a new silhouette because you don't really know what to expect and it's a bit new and it's exciting. In terms of sizing of fit, I would probably go for true to size. The only thing I can kind of relate it to in, that already exists is probably an Air Force One, so it's probably slightly bigger than your actual real fit. As I said before, it is a light sneaker. The fly knit is very thin. It's really sort of airy. It feels very sort of comfortable, which I imagine in the summertime is going to be a really nice shoe to wear. In terms of retail cost, this is £120 in the UK. For the US, I imagine it'll be around sort of $149, something around that mark. Um, in terms of price, that's not too bad for a sneaker these days. For a new silhouette, it's pretty good value. And actually, because this is a new silhouette and a new range, that is probably going to make its money back up in a resale market. So overall, I've got to say that I really love this sneaker. I think that the concept and the campaign that Nike are trying to push with sustainability and helping the environment is a good message. It's a good approach. And you know what? They designed a really nice sneaker here as well. Okay, so that's it from me today. I've been Matt Rideout. This has been Kings Down Roots. If you've enjoyed my video, then please drop me a comment and a like down below. It means the absolute world to me. You can also follow me on Instagram up here. I post a lot of content on there too. Thanks very much for watching guys. Take care. Bye-bye.